Thanks for staying with us. I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Bart Bedsold. Today we continue to honor the lives taken in the Club Q shooting. More and more stories emerging about who these five people were. Daniel Aston, Kelly Loving, Raymond Vance, Derek Rump, and Ashley Pa, each one of them inside the Colorado Springs gay bar when a 22 year old entered and opened fire. At least 19 others were injured. And one of those victims, Ed Sanders, is currently recovering at UC Health Memorial Hospital. Excuse he is preparing for a long recovery after being shot in his leg and back. Cardio News Channel 13's Andrea Herrera is live to explain what he is saying about his recovery this afternoon. Andrea. Ed Sanders is focusing on the positive right now. He says although he is in the hospital and will still undergo many surgeries this week, he says he's alive and able to tell his story. Still in shock. I think uh, Derek and Daniel were good friends of mine. I uh, gonna miss them both. They were shining stars for the family. Ed Sanders is a Club Q regular, a friend, and a family to many inside the walls of the so-called safe haven. Sanders was out enjoying time with his friends when it quickly turned into a horrific night. When it came my turn to get a drink, uh, I handed my credit card and then the shooting started. Sanders was shot twice, once in his back and later in his right leg. But he was shooting wildly. It was very loud and uh, he was shouting something that I did, couldn't hear because of the gunfire. Sanders says all he remembers is seeing the fear in people's eyes, the screaming and watching people drop on the floor. A woman was shot right next to me and I could, all I could see was a belly wound. Sanders is grateful that it only took the police two minutes to get to Club Q. Police came and gave me a tourniquet for my leg and uh, then four of them carried me outside and uh, they took me to the ambulance pretty quickly. Although Sanders says he never saw the two brave men who stopped the shooter from continuing his attack, he's thankful they were able to save the lives at Club Q. It's a family so you don't drop your family when some tragedy happens. You, just, you come together. As of right now, Sanders is expected to be okay, but he will remain in the hospital for a couple more weeks as he continues to heal and rehabilitate his leg. Live in Colorado Springs, Andrea Herrera, KRDO News Channel 13. Andrea, thank you.